If every night was as peaceful as tonight, Spider-Man would be out of a job. And frankly, I hope it stays this quiet. New York City Power Company. Yes, sir. Everything's peaceful here. I thought this was going to be a slow night. There's another one! We just lost New York. The whole East Coast is blacked out! Yes, Mr. President. Yes, sir. All of our communication satellites are simply vanishing. Well, we're doing everything we can, Mr. Mr. President? Mr. President? Looks like things are finally starting to get back to normal around here. But for how long? And in sports today... Hey! The picture's gone. Spider-Man's work is never done. I've just been handed a special bulletin. The fiend responsible for last night's blackout of the East Coast is taking over all TV broadcasts right now. Oh, great. I'm already late for Dr. Goddard's class in satellites and mass communications. If I miss one more lecture, he's going to fail me. People of New York and the world, hear my voice. It was I, Mr. M, who destroyed your communications and darkened your cities last night. And that was only a sample of my powers. Hmm, this guy's got enough hot air to light New York. My terms are simple. One hundred million dollars in gold for the return of all the world's communication satellites and my assurance that your cities will have power. You have three days to decide. What does it mean? Who was that? Can't something be done to stop what? it? So, I've got three days to find this mysterious Mr. M and put a stop to his plans. And only three minutes to get to Dr. Goddard's class. Last night's blackout of all power and communications becomes even stranger when we consider... you in my office after class. Just because I've been late to a few classes. All right, so I've been late to every class. But now I've got to take Dr. Goddard's dumb thesis to the printer? Goddard's been working on this book for 20 years. If anything happens to it... Phew, made it. Mysterious Mr. M and Dr. Goddard, I haven't slept in more than a day. Fortunately, I only need a couple of hours sleep a day. But nothing's gonna stop me from getting some now. Uh, Peter! Except Aunt May. Can't let her see me in bed, she'll think I'm sick. It's unlocked, Aunt May! Mercy sakes, Peter. It's a marvel how you get in here without me seeing you come in. You can say that again. Are you studying Greek, dear? <laughs> Baby, you've been working much too hard. You haven't been getting your rest. 
maybe a nap in the afternoon. Oh, by the way, that nice Dr. Goddard called. He asked me to remind you that the space people are launching a satellite tonight. The new international communication satellite. Of course. If our mysterious Mr. M is going to stop all communications, he'll have to hijack this rocket. And he's not going to do that if your friendly neighborhood web slinger's got anything to say about it. We just got word there might be some trouble here tonight. So spread out and keep your eyes open. So far, my spider sense hasn't picked up a thing. Maybe my hunch was wrong. Uh-oh. Spider-Man! So you're behind the disappearance of all the satellites. You won't get this one. I'm calling... Now you just play here nice and quiet till Uncle Spidey gets back. Countdown continuing. Launch in five minutes. I repeat, all systems go. Launch in four minutes and 50 seconds. I've been from one end of this base to the other and no sign of any Mr. M. Maybe my hunch was... Looks like my hunch was right after all. My spider sense tells me I'm in for some trouble. Now to see just who this Mr. M really is. Hmm, our mystery villain seems shy. Somehow I find a shy supervillain hard to picture. So maybe my automatic camera will help me put it in focus. And now for a surprise inspection. Four minutes till launch and counting. And four minutes till the world again witnesses the mighty power of Magneto. My magnetic magnifier, I can multiply my magnetic powers a thousand times. Three minutes and thirty seconds till launch, and the counting. Even the mighty engines of a rocket will be like toys compared to my power. And now let's see what's behind door number one. Magneto. I should have guessed. It would have done you no good, web slinger. A magnetic suspension beam will keep you out of my way for a while. What? Up here, Buckethead. Wow. That was almost too easy. Look out below. <laughs> Don't be a fool, webhead. I can draw upon the magnetic powers of this entire planet. Do you think these puny threads will stop me? I was sort of hoping they would. I'd love to stand here and trade witty lines, Spider-Man. But there is no time now. Please accept my hospitality, though. And make yourself comfortable. Use my magnetic powers to stop that rocket. There is now one minute till launch. All systems go. In less than a minute, it'll be all systems stop. Don't you ever get tired playing the evil scientist bit turret top? Spider-Man! It's so nice when people remember your name. Too bad for you, you keep forgetting about the speed and agility of the spider. Your junk pile welcoming committee missed me by a mile. I underestimated you once, web slinger. But there's no escape for you now. Give it up, fool. Your power can't match mine.
Savannah get a picture for Dr. Goddard of that rocket blasting off. Now, that's what I call a pretty picture. I knew if I played dead, you'd get overconfident, careless. Let that be a lesson to you, webhead. Super magnetic powers to work. No, this is impossible. That rocket has more than one million pounds of thrust. Nothing can hold it down. Just shoot out a spider line. Should be smooth sailing from here on. Oh, great. We're hitting the upper atmosphere. That means we'll be burning up in a matter of minutes. Yo! I'm really in the hot seat now. There's only one thing to do. There, that's better. Now for a little maneuvering control. Glide it in like the space shuttle. But where? I've still got to stop Magneto's plan to blackmail the world. I know. If I can just get inside this satellite, all satellites are controlled by a magnetic tracking device. If I can just find it. Got it! Looks like at least some of what I learned in Dr. Goddard's class is going to pay off. And big! Just hope I can make it back in time to pick up his book from the printers. Now all I have to do is point this at the good old Earth, and when it points at Magneto, got him! Now to drop in for a surprise visit. Government needs more time to meet $100 million ransom demand. Government needs more time. Time? I have given them enough time. A demonstration will speed them up. My magnetic magnifier. I can send my powers over very long distances.
taste of my powers now. What, Spider-Man? Webcrawler has more lives than a cat. I'll give my dear friend a welcome he'll never forget. was an odd place, but these ancient statues really give me the woolies. It's almost as if they're alive. I would have to say alive, wouldn't I? It's time I put Magneto's toy soldiers to bed. satellite down to your island, I modified this miniature microwave relay. It amplifies magnetic radiation and aims it back at the source. Pretty clever, don't you think? Say cheese. You still haven't beaten me, Webhead. The Earth is still without its communication satellite. Ha! Not for long. A little spider magic? Power will drain into the magnifier. Power the machine and return every satellite to its proper orbit. Very clever, Spider-Man. But you still don't know where I hid them. There's only one place you could have hidden them. everything back to normal or almost normal at least one good thing came out of all this j jonah jameson publisher of the daily bugle loved my pictures of spider-man fighting magneto oh great i was supposed to pick up dr goddard's book from the printer at noon it's time i put on some spider steam I want to thank my good friend, J. Jonah Jameson, publisher of the Daily Bugle, for sending these pictures over. Note the skill and grace with which Spider-Man moves in these action shots. Note the fine coordination and the... Ah, fuck! 
Parker. My new textbook. Please pass them out to the class. As I was saying, Spider-Man represents the ultimate in grace and coordination. I believe I was saying something about grace and coordination.